<laughs> so, so when you're in this room, you can't see all of it, but when you're in this room, where does your eye go? Immediately, it goes to maybe the fireplace, because that's a big aspect of the whole living room. But mostly, your eye gets drawn upwards to the beautiful uh, ceiling and the beams. But with all these little beams, even if they're structural, all these little beams, are, it's really busy. It makes everything really busy, and we don't want the focus of our, our, our room in here to be the ceiling. So we're going to add some ins insulation in between. We're also going to add some spotlighting. So if you want to come along with us and check out how we do it, here we go. Let's get started. So when we got to France, it was 15 degrees inside the house. It was about mid 50s uh, in Fahrenheit and it was just so, so cold. We were still waiting on all of our stuff from the container. So I didn't have any tools to do this job. Huge, huge shout out to Yan, one of my buddies uh, who also has a YouTube channel. I'll link in the description but um, he let me borrow everything that you're seeing here. I did have to buy a couple things, but for the most part, he hooked it up and um, so much appreciated for that. We decided to do the living room first. We knew that it was gonna be a dusty long job, especially doing it all by myself, um, but it was the center of the, the, the whole house. It was the biggest room and uh, it had the, the, the most amount of heat that was just, we were just losing a ton of heat because of this. Um, and so if you can see here about, about halfway through, I took a, a laser thermometer and just with that one little piece of insulation compared to the other side, which it should be warmer on this side, it was about five degrees Fahrenheit. Um, in the end, we ended up gaining, uh, shoot, it went from 14 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees in the house uh, easily. And so just with insulating and doing this one room, not only gave us a massive amount of uh, energy efficiency, um, but it also enabled us to be more comfortable in the house and it enabled us to have lighting in this room. I mean, this is the, the room that we're in probably the most. We, we work a lot from this room in the, in the living room. Um, and so that's why we decided to do that. Check that out so clean i was so happy with that cut the walls are so crazy the walls are just any way you can possibly think of a wall being other than straight um, this was the s wall at the very top um, but it came along great i installed all the electrical i had to do the skylight um, that took me a little while just to to make sure that there weren't going to be any cracks all of this pre spackle was done with mortar uh, some of the larger areas were, were done with mortar and then i went on to um, sanding and all that other stuff so all in all the project was great it turned out uh, amazing my shoulders are completely dead um, but i am looking forward to the next projects some outdoor projects and it just transformed the whole house and i'm so pleased with how it it, it came out i uh, definitely wanted to show some of the detail in the after photos um, and some of the uh, ways that I went along the walls um, and just I really wanted to focus on the detail with the pro this project because I know from past projects I was stuck looking at um, my imperfections for years and it frustrated me um, but tell me what you guys think thanks for watching